Papá, papá, papá. Pa. ¿Qué pasó, qué pasó? Me la di, estoy bien, no me caí nada de feo, pero no prende la pinche moto, se apagó y no prende. Hola, guys, es Salvador Ortiz aquí, un rider de 13X Race Bike, uh, Pro Unlimited en Baja. Espera, nada más.
probarme Apa, 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 apa? Dímelo, dímelo. Me la di, me la di, estoy bien, no me caí. Me la di, estoy bien, no me caí nada de feo, pero no prende la pinche moto, se apagó y no prende. Ay, güey, no mames, ¿a qué? ¿Va a entrar el cobro de la batería o no estaría o qué? Nomás le doy y nomás escucha, no, o sea, no hace nada, nomás escucha ahí un poquito. Ya le quité el asiento. Yo no sé. Ya no lo saben, no lo saben, güey. Ellos vienen para allá. Está en la milla 112.3. 112.3 está parado el Álvaro. Le doy, le doy y no se escucha nada. Así bien poquito. Todavía no pasa ninguna moto. Estoy, voy, vengo bien enfrente. ¡Fuck! A ver, mueble los alambres, para claro. Mueble los alambres de la batería. De ahí en desconectan los alambres de la batería y no le di. A ver si se desconectó algo. Yo te yo, yo dije que dijo que no se cayó. Pero que no tenía, no sé qué onda. No mames. Venía en primero y me caí, aquí me la di así, bien, bien así, y se apagó la moto y ya no prende. No, no, digo que ahí le van a pasar con bien todos los bajos. Estos bajos. Se ve una madre cabrón, eh. Existe. Aquí, aquí vamos empujando la moto ya. Battery, battery. Venían primero. Sí, pues sí. te escuchamos y de repente nomás. Sí, nada. me, me, ca me la di y ya no, ya no prendió la moto. Pensaba que caer estrellado. Pues sí me caí, pero no feo. Y ya, no pinche por Venía ahí en el frente también. Hey, what's up, guys? Alan Ortiz here, rider for the 13X bike uh, down in Baja for in the Pro Unlimited class. Yeah, everything was going as planned. My brother, Adrian Ortiz, the rider of record, started the bike, did the fake start, handed me the bike, and I, I ran, I raced all the way to mile 70. Everything was going as planned. My whole, my section was, I had my section dialed in. I pre-ran so many, like five, around five times. Pre-ran at six in the morning. Justin Morgan's tip at pre-run at the time you're gonna race. And yeah, everything was going as planned. I was um, leaving the, the pack. I had like a seven minute gap on the rest of the, the riders. And I had like a 80% pace. I was riding smooth and around miles like 7, 57. I had a little tip over, like just lost control in a whoop. And yeah, the bike just shut off. And then the bike turned off and it wouldn't uh, get back starting. I lost like like an hour and a half maybe. All like everybody passed me, all the the vets, everybody, I was dead last. And I don't know, the, the bike, I, I called in the radio to my chase and yeah, they told me to jump the solenoid with some pliers and I did that and fi the bike finally got running. And yeah, we just um, tried to stay smooth for the rest of the race. Uh, my teammates did a good job of not letting the bike turn off on them because it wouldn't start. They gave it to but I gave it to Tavo. He rode from mile 70 to around mile 160 something. Yeah, 160 something. 
and yeah, he gave it to Danny. Danny was having a good, um, good section, but there was a Jeep stuck in the middle of the, of the race course, and it was a really rocky section, so he tried to go around it to not lose time, and the bike shut off on him, and we lost another time right there. He tried to get it back up and, and running, and that took a while, but he, he, he finally did, and then he gave it to my brother, the rider record, for the last uh, like 70 miles of the race. Or look, he gave it to my brother for the last like 60 miles of the race. He he had a good section too, and then Cody. And it turned off. And it, it turned off on him too, and yeah, uh, everything went smooth after that. Um, Cody got the bike for like the last 10 miles because he he was hurt. He broke his collarbone, but yeah, everything. Uh, all that counts is that we finished the bike and we're ready for the 500. We're, we're on a new bike. We're on a Honda 450X. Yeah, um, being prepped by Sander Power SD Powerhouse. Mechanic for Mark, the one that prepped his bike, and yeah, the bike should be race ready, ready to go for the 500. Thank you to everyone, all the fans down in Baja that sent me the videos. It was, it was sick seeing all the people cheering me on. Uh, huge thank you to all our sponsors, Best Express Foods, our main sponsor. And yeah, this this is my recap of like what happened during the race, what, what went wrong, and then stay tuned for the full race recap of everybody else.